Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to Foundation where there's been a couple updates since the last time I've played, some quality of life improvements, but they've also gone through and added procedural generated maps, which I'm super excited to check out because before these were the maps that we got, right? You got to choose between these five and you just had to use what you had, where now I could come in here and say I want to live on a bunch of islands. I'd like to have a bunch of things on islands so I can literally go through and press this generate button and wait till I see something that I like now sadly I really like the map that I had there before oh, wait hold on hold on hold on hold on there it is this is the map that I like let me show you guys exactly why I'm still all up in your face um check it out so it allows me to have a bunch of different islands and I want to do different things on islands between building a monastery on an island, building a fort on an island, building a castle on an island, all these different things. And then maybe this big island will house a large town for me. I'm not exactly sure yet. It just depends on what the actual islands look like there. Um, so let's hop in. Let's start a brand new game. We're going to be playing this for the next couple days. We don't have any mods installed. That's on purpose. I just didn't want any mods. We do have some tea though. So here we are. Let's have some tea and let's hop into a little bit of foundation. Okay, so here we are in Foundation. Now, first thing I want to say is I have played this before, actually a few times on the channel, but... I didn't play it in 2023 yet. I know we're still fresh into 2023, but there's been some cool updates that I really want to check out. Some cool quality of life things and some improvements. Now, if you guys want to see a modded playthrough after this, just let me know down in those comments. But here we go. A new beginning. After a long journey through the realm, your people finally reach new lands. Your lands. Territories you were asked to settle for reasons of your own. Your villagers await your command. They are eager to advise your first if you require so you know what let me hear your advice now this is going to be how you get some tutorials and stuff like that um but honestly i'm not super worried about that for right now let me check out my islands that i have here okay so i will continue on my own i'll, I'll continue on my own for right now okay so let me check it out here so i have this island that's here Can I zoom out? There we go. Let me zoom out a little bit more. There we are. Here's an island. So here's one large island. Here's a small island. And then there should be another large island. No, there's only two small islands. Okay, so those aren't nearly the size that I thought that they were. That's a little bit of a bummer. I'm not going to lie. Um, but honestly, I think that this territory right here is probably going to be the one that we take over. We can build a bridge over here. We can maybe build a monastery over here, something like that a little bit later. Um, but honestly, that wasn't nearly the size that I thought that it was going to be. Um, but that's not a big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and let's hop in here and let's purchase this territory that's right here. Now we need to go in and we need to start building a couple things like our village center. This village center is literally the center of your main village. This is an important landmark because this literally calls out where everybody's really going to start from. So let's go ahead and build that right there. You can see all of our little people that are here. Then we're going to go through and we're going to build a couple other small things. The first things first that we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a lumber camp. I'm going to put that right up over there. Then I'm also going to go through. And I'm going to build myself a gatherer's hut because we do need one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and get a gatherer's hut down. I'm going to put it right next to these berries that are right here. Now, a cool thing about foundation, guys, is I actually don't put down roads. If you guys haven't seen this game before, you don't put down roads at all. Literally, the roads are built by the people from them walking. The other thing I am going to need literally pretty much right away is a builder's workshop. Uh, I need this because without this, I can't... Um, I literally can't put down uh, anything. Nobody will build anything. So I'm going to build that right there on the side of the town hall or the village square. Then I'm going to come here and I'm going to assign a couple serfs to be builders. So there we go. We got a couple people that are going to be builders now and uh, they're going to go to get to work on some of these other things that we need them to do. So who is a builder? You know what? Let me assign all three. Let's just get some builders going here. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the game speed. That's going to get them moving a little bit. You're going to see them actually get to their work time and then now they're going to go out and they're actually going to start working on some stuff uh the other thing 
we're going to need is we are going to need some stone cutting going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a stone cutter right about Nya. It's okay because he can still reach that. Then, then we have to paint all the places we're going to have them start doing some extraction. So let me put down some extraction there. And then I'm going to increase the size of this thing. And I'm going to tell them, take out all these trees that are right here. I'll figure out reforestation. You know, we'll tell them you can reforest this area too. Uh, but for now, we don't have a forester's hut. So we don't even need to worry about that. The last thing that I do need to do is I do need to go through and I need to get some uh, housing put in now up there is kind of production so I'm gonna go ahead and put housing up on this hill over here get a little bit of housing you know what I'm just gonna cover all of this right here in housing there we go that's gonna give us a decent whoop, 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 a decent amount of housing for our people to be able to live in you can see we have a house there a house coming up over here that's another thing I actually don't have to place houses you just paint a residential area and they go through and they start putting it all down themselves it's a lot of fun i really like it okay so how are we doing village aspirations what do you got that's a lot of stuff that i don't feel like reading all right cool all right so now we have one two three and four houses that are being able to be built here let me go ahead and close these down i need to assign some people to work at the lumber camp i'm gonna put two people there i'm actually gonna take one person away from here and I'm going to put down one person right here. Oh, only one. Just one. We don't need two. Just one for now. All of these, just one. And then we do want to start getting food pretty much immediately as well. Okay. In fact, let's get, let's get more than one person for food because we really, really need some food. A newcomer requests an audience. What's shaking, Bacon? Uh, what'd you ask me for? What's shaking, Bacon? I'm, I tried to talk to you. You ignored me. I tried to talk to you. They want an audience, but but they they they're not they're not talking to me. Well, whatever. Okay, no quests right now. Probably because I already completed what they wanted me to complete. Now, food. Let's get a well in because this increases desirability in the area. So let me go ahead and just pop down a well like right. I think right there is going to be good because then that's going to cover everything in this little area that we have right here. Okay, how are we doing? Not so good. We're low on food. We're low on food like crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and get a granary built. We do need a granary because a granary is going to make it so that way we can store food. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a granary right there. And then I'm also going to go ahead and build a market. Okay, a market is important because this is how your people actually get food. So I'm going to put that down right there. And then I'm going to edit this building. And with this building, I can actually um, market stalls court. I think that's what I want. Yep, there we go. And then I grab a food stall. Can't really see here because this stuff's in the way. Grab myself a food stall. And we're just going to go ahead and just rotate that ever so slightly. So that way it's right there. I'm going to build that. And then that is going to be our little market for now. Now I can go through. I can edit that a little bit later on. We're going to get into all that. But the most important thing we do right now is get our civilization on track to succeed. And right now, that's pretty much where we're at. We have some housing coming in. People need some lumber. We have people working on gathering lumber for us, which is great. They're going to go ahead and get that done. We might need an actual warehouse to store things. A storehouse, maybe. I don't know. Phone, leave me alone. I don't care right now. Anywho. How we, okay, we got one, two houses put in. Their desirability is low, which is understandable. I think this right here might be a really good spot for a wee little church. Maybe. That might be a good spot for a wee little church. Look at this nice place to fish up here. We got a nice little lake up here that's got two separate spots for fishing it. That's nice. All right, let's go ahead and fast forward time a little bit. We have, uh, we could go up to times three. That is the one downfall with this game is I wish that the time speed up was faster because there's some things in this game, like building a monastery, building a large church, building a large fort. There's a lot of different large buildings in this game that require a vast amount of resources that sometimes can take a ton of time to put in. So you end up having a lot of large skips in time as we go through um, this game. So 
here we go. Let's see what else we can build here. We got ourselves uh, a rustic church. People would be happy if I can get a rustic church in. So I'm going to go ahead and put down this little peg, which tells me I'm building a rustic church. And you know what? I might... It increases the desirability. Can I just happen to sneak this guy in like... That's part of your house. No. So I'm going to have to put it over here or maybe... Maybe I could put it back up here. This will help desirability just a little bit over here. You know what? Let's put the rustic church right over here. It's it's not the best place for it. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a, actually kind of a crap place for it. But uh, I think I think it's going to work for us. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, we have a bell tower. We definitely need a bell tower. And I think I can know... What is it? This one? Uh, whoops. Oh, yeah. There we go. Click on it. And then I can drag it up a little bit. All right. And that is going to provide us our church. So they're going to start working on that. We actually need wooden planks in order to get this built. Logs, planks. Is What, what is getting the planks? Is it this thing on the side? Let me see. Is it... Uh, let me see. Is it these that's per, per requiring the planks? The, the whole thing's requiring planks. Okay. That's fine. I can actually get planks. I can do that. Um, I just need to build a sawmill. A sawmill right over here. This will uh, this will definitely get us our planks that we need. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and put that down right there. We don't want to cover up our rocks that we have. We'll build that. This thing's got... A, I think it might have unlimited rocks, if I remember correctly. This little resource that's right here. How are we doing on, uh, on, on tree cutting? How are you guys doing? Uh... Wow, we've pretty much cut down all of that. Um, let's go ahead and get a little bit more out. I want to go ahead and cut these trees out as well. Just get them out of the way. Let's just go ahead and get a little bit more out of the way here. So that way, whoop, 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 whoop. That way they can go ahead and get us some more logs. Because we have a lot of logs that are going to be needed. I'm also tempted to buy another territory. But I think I'll do that once I'm positive money. I think that's what I'll do. I have a lot of construction projects left. I only have 10 tools. Oh, I don't have any tools left. Ooh. Ooh, we're going to need trading. We're definitely going to need trading, which I think I need a manor house in order to get trading. Is that right? Granary market, builder's workshop. Was that what I needed in order to get the trading? I forget. Hold on. Let me look. Uh, wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Um, let me see. There is a button that shows me. I just don't remember what it was. Ah, well, we'll get it figured out. We just can't get anything until we have some tools. Uh, ooh, a transporter. Let's go ahead and get a transporter. How many people do I have that are still idle? Oh yeah, I have to assign resources here. Uh, assign berries there. We wanna we wanna stockpile berries, and then also we wanna we wanna set up a person to work here as well because then people can come and get food. How's the well? The well is good. We have unlimited water coming from the well. That is wonderful. All right, still only two houses. We have our granary built. Um. The Builder's Workshop is fine for now. This needs so much resources, it's scary. Oh, we can't really do any of it until after we have this done. Can I prioritize the construction on that guy? Let's prioritize the construction on the sawmill. Because if I can prioritize the construction on the sawmill, then at least I can get the planks to start building out the church. But the church actually makes you money, by the way. Taxes and things like that. I actually, I get money for that. So that's not too shabby. Um, What else can I put in? I can only put berries in here for now. Just take a peek at everything I have. I really don't want to build the manor house yet. I feel like that we're not ready for that. If that makes sense. I mean, maybe we are. Are we? Maybe, maybe we should get everything else built first. And 
just like that, we have a lot more of our houses built now. We have a lot of houses built, our well is built, our sawmill is built, so we're getting planks. We're actually feeding it into our rustic church. I edited the church just slightly. I took that side part that we were building off of it. It was just requiring more tools, and we already have to buy some tools. Now, speaking of buying tools and getting trade, what I need to do is I need to go into our book that's right here. And inside this progression tab, we have a ton of different things in here that we need to get. Now, I'm really excited about this because this is a change since the last time I played the game. Before, you just progressed and you bought things in a weird menu that kind of didn't really make sense. You got to unlock them with, like, prestige points. And honestly, it just it didn't really good. No, Lord Unknown. Here, not Lord Unknown. Uh, Lord Similot. Whoa, apparently caps lock is on. All right, Similot. There we go. Okay, confirm and save. And my village name is... Havelstead. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that or type that in or what have you but that's what it's called but speaking of this here this is what i like about this now i could come in here and start buying some buildings and i do need to buy a couple of them actually like this warehouse i do need that if i come over to labor i don't really have anything in here yet i'll start getting labor and stuff like that once i start building my manor house my manor house will allow me to go through and start to unlock some of these things now what i do want to focus on here is i do want to try to get to wow monosaic a, a battle a, a, a abyssal church i'm not sure all they know is that there's a lot a lot of stuff that's in here that wasn't in here before uh, but i want to get to the point where i'm getting fishing which means i need to get more prosperity and in order to get prosperity points i need a larger population I need more wealth, I need more territory, I need beautification, I need a lot of different things. So, let's start by getting some trading going here. I'm also going to work on setting up what will be our manor house before the end of this episode. So, let's go ahead and invite that newcomer in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Look at our little houses here. They're all doing wonderful. We got another one over here. Actually, that's our church. Not a house, that's a church. But anyway, speaking of things that we can build, let's go over to logistics and let's grab our warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy, whoopsie, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy down like right about, um, right about like that. If I could, like maybe like right there. Yeah, yeah, build, build that. Yeah, okay. So now that we're getting that built, that's going to make it so I can get tools. But... But I can store them, but that doesn't mean I can buy them quite yet. What I'm going to need in order to buy them is I'm actually going to need to go back into this book here. And I'm going to need to go into economy. Actually, no, I think it's resources. That's the one. And check it out. I can buy tools for coins from Northbury. Okay? So I need to go through and unlock this with 20 planks, which I have 20 planks, which is good. Which is good. So I can unlock this. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that trade route now. Okay, and we got a labor prospect tier reached, new kingdom prospect tier reached, nice, clergy prospect tier reached, wonderful. So now if I go back in the book and I go over to progression, I should have a couple things in here. Yeah, you see that right there? Boom, I can already start getting some of these other things. I can go ahead and get myself a splendor package, a hedge, some nice splendor package for my manor house. I'm not super worried about this right now. But we'll probably get there. Um, Kingdom-wise, this is how I get forts and stuff. Not quite ready to go on the rampage yet, but soon. Um, commerce is 10. Population is now 3. That's good. Um, wealth is still kind of poopy-doopy, but we'll get that figured out. The bailiff allows you to name a bailiff who can fulfill various uh, mandates. Employs a serf. I don't have a manor house yet. I don't have a manor house yet. Uh, um, possibly. Also, um, I would like to get over here so I can move my woodcutters over here and turn this area into a huge food production. That's my plan for over here. And then work this way to have more houses up on the ridge. Because who doesn't want to look down on an absolutely gorgeous valley? That just seems wonderful to me. A, a nice place to live. Okay. Are all of our houses in? All of our houses are in now. 
we have all the houses built. Now, I feel like we probably could get more if I went through and bought some territory. If I bought, like, if I came up here and was like, let me look at territories. Um, I, oh, wow. That's a, oh, wow. That is a terrible, terrible territory. Look at that. I could buy this one. Cost five coins a week. I bought, or I could buy this one, which would cost five coins a week. But that would just give me this. Wow, that's a tiny, skinny territory because it includes all the mountain that's there. Uh, whoa, that's a tiny territory. This is a big old territory, but that's because it mainly can includes water. I could start going across. I could get the. I could get up a wooden bridge and build across. Man, all right, no, no territories yet. We're not going to buy a territory quite yet. Um. And I think over here is going to be a decent place for me to put in my first, uh, my first, what you call it, uh, my first manor house, I think is going to be what I put up there. Okay, planks are 20. All right, how goes this? What are we still missing? Rocks? Why are we not getting more rocks? Because we need another miner. We only have one miner. Let's get another miner going. Miner 49er. Shout out to all those who watched Scooby-Doo as a child. Ooh, our church is done. People can come and pray and they'll be happy. Which increases the desirability even more for all of these houses. Should make them quite happy. Uh, ooh, tier one, house density one, occupants two. I can literally tell them not to live there. Interesting. Interesting. I like this house, though. This one's got the availability for six people to live here. That's good soup right there. Two, two, two. Okay, so I have a lot of houses right now. I might need more. And I'm really tempted to buy this out and put some woodcutters up here to come through and wipe this all out so I can start getting residential put in here. Soon. Soon. Let's focus on this. Let's get the builder to build this. Then I will have them start ordering tools. And then once they're ordering tools, we'll go from there. Because we can't finish the church, which we all we have left is the uh, bell tower. But I can't finish the church until uh, I have more tools. And I can't even start the manor house until I have more tools. But you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's just go ahead and get her started. Let's just go ahead and get it started. Let's let's get this. Okay, let's do uh, a great hall, right? All right, so let's get a rustic hall in here. All right, we're going to go very, very, very basic for right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm being honest, okay? This is going to be probably the crappiest great hall ever, right? I need an interactive location. I got one room, and what is this interactive location? Is it that I need... Oh, interactive visitor location. Okay, here we go. Let's get you right there. So I could technically put in more... I could slap a tower on here, right? I could put in this wooden hall that's right next to it. I could put on this on the side right there. I could do all of that, but honestly, I'm not going to. I think that that's a little bit too much. I don't need all that to start. I'm going to end up moving the Great Hall a little bit later on. Um, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, because see, that's what all these other ones would build. It'd be like building a tax office generates revenue by taxing citizens from your... Uh, uh, maybe I'll put a little one on then. I should put a little one on. Just a little... a little. What is this? Tools, rocks, tools, rocks. Uh, let's just get a small wooden hall, I guess. I didn't really want to put any more on here for now. Honestly, I didn't, but, uh, for now, oops, let's just go ahead and put that on there. It's expensive, yeah, but, and let's build that, there we go. So that's all on there now. I could select a mandate as well if I want to, gain influence on estate, uh, revise one edict, uh, let's do, 
Let's get an influence. Oh, no. Eh, no. Promote villagers to higher status. Yeah, not right now. I don't need to do any of that. Okay. They got a little bit of work they got to do. Speaking of getting work that they got to do, let's go ahead and assign some tools here. I'm going to go ahead and assign a transporter or two. And I'm also going to tell them that they can store wood here and they can store stone here and they can store planks here. So that's going to give them plenty of place where they can store up all their stuff. Let's include that person. Welcome in. How you doing? And let's finish off by ordering a couple of tools, shall we? So let's go over here. Where's my trading menu? Which one was my trading menu? Resources. Here it is. Okay. And let's go to tools. Buy until the inventory reaches 10. So there we go. Now a trader will come. They'll bring us tools. We'll be able to finish out the, the bell tower for the church. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a nice manor house built as well. So... I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. We're going to have another one that we're going to record pretty soon after this one. All I'm going to do is wait for the tools to come in. I'm going to get up those two places that we're trying to build now. In the next episode, we're going to be going through. We're going to buy a new area. We're going to get a bunch of new houses set up. We may even start going and seeing what else that we can unlock inside of the book here for us to be able to go down this progression. And hopefully, we'll be able to start getting into fishing because we need more than one source of food for all of our little towns folks here but thank you everybody so much for watching this one i hope you guys liked it if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe today leave me a comment down below and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one